Now let's talk about using custom fields to prepare some useful information reports. You recall in our previous training video we came in and we looked at various custom fields. Let's run a report for all of our customers that tells us which customers we provide monthly service to. Let's come here under reports and come down to accounts receivable. Let's look at a customer list and let's preview it. Here come to the fields tab and let's uncheck these three fields because we don't need this information on this report. Now let's scroll down to the custom fields section. Here's the custom field section. And here's monthly service. Let's check this box and let's click OK. Now you can see we have a report that tells us which customers are on monthly service. If we wanted to sort this report based on this third column, so all the customers with a yes here would be first and those with a no would be second, we would want to put this report in Excel. Please refer to the Working with Excel video to learn how to do this. Let's run another report. Let's look at our employees. You can see that one of our customer fields tab is birthday. If we want to run a report that shows all of our employees birthdays, we simply come here to the payroll section, employee list. Let's preview it and once again come to the fields tab. Here let's uncheck these four lines because we don't need this information on this report. Now let's scroll down to the custom fields section. Here's birthday. Let's check this and now let's click on OK. Now we have all the birthdays for our employees. Employee email also came in. We didn't want this information. So let's come back to the options button, fields, and let's scroll down here until we see employee email. And let's remove that checkbox. Now click OK. And now we have the report just as we want it. Once again, if we wanted to sort this report based on the second column, which would be helpful if it were sorted based on the calendar, you could put this report in Excel and sort it based on that second column.